Oh, ha, ha. oh that's hot that's hot all right how's everybody doing hope y'all are having a better day than me uh in today's video i'm gonna be talking about what anime last stand needs all right this game is still in development so keep that in mind you know they still got you see crafting coming soon pvp coming soon raids coming soon all this and that so this game is still in development uh the dev team is nice enough to make it public access unlike these games i'm not gonna name which game but y'all know what i'm talking about 30 bucks all, all this money to buy you know free access but they still haven't came out publicly which is just insane to me but uh we're gonna be talking about what this game needs all right this is not entirely my uh ideas you know i'm not gonna be biased i'm not i'm not a biased guy but uh we're gonna be talking about what this game needs and yeah let's just get straight into the first subject all right first of all what they need to do is actually add more unobtainable units the reason i say this is you know trading is coming soon and trading is not going to be that diverse, you know, trading is not going to be that fun when the units are obtainable, you know, there's not that much un unobtainable units, there's probably like one or two, I don't know how much there is, but there isn't enough, so I feel like they should start adding events, like, uh, you know, events where things become unobtainable, like, let's say, uh, for anime adventures, for reference, they got, you know, portals, and they got secret units like Doflamingo, um etc that become unobtainable after farming for a period of time you know and i feel like this is gonna make the trading much better and if you're like just gonna make trading where you could trade between obtainable stuff that could be obtainable in game i don't feel like trading is gonna be that good if you're not gonna have a bunch of unobtainable stuff it's not gonna be that diverse all right next i'm gonna be talking about rerolls all right this game has already been generous to us unlike anime adventures this game is actually you know generously giving us rerolls and actually giving us a way to get rerolls easily you know uh, unlike anime adventures where you you know the game is entirely pay to win if you have like a unique uh pride or unique something good you get invited to all the goodies and stuff but but in this game you know they're generous you can get rerolls from challenges you get you could get rerolls from quests and they're easily obtainable but i feel like the one thing they should add is rerolls to the summon now i feel like maybe they should make a reroll like a one percent you know at least a one percent the reason i say this is because you know we have all these gems that i'm never gonna spend and they're probably gonna stack up to 100k 200k and even more and i feel like you know we should be able to spend that on um summons you know maybe we spin here and then it's a one percent to drop it it wouldn't stack up that much i know it might be too much you know it will give everybody a chance to get a bunch of rerolls especially those with 200k 300k gems but i feel like maybe they should consider this this is all my uh suggestion i didn't look at this is completely biased uh but if you do take this into consideration i feel like uh it'll really help out the community all right third suggestion and what should be added to this game is this actually ties to the first suggestion about adding more unobtainable units um like adding more events unobtainable events uh, like events that happen every now and then where i could hop on the game and actually grind it instead of just keep doing the same thing like i'm doing right now where you know i'm trying to get heavenly chat right now i'm constantly going back uh between challenges trying to get rerolls and you know it's just so repetitive so i feel like they should add events unobtainable events you know they become unobtainable after a period of time after grinding and, you know, I could hop on one day after not playing for a long time, play the event, get what I need, and then get off and then wait for the next event. And, you know, this game is probably going to die if nothing like this happens. But I'm I'm sure the dev team will, you know, make something up, basically make the game just a 100% better. Last thing I'm going to be talking about is fix your rates, all right? The reason I'm saying this is you got here an index, you got a Shinigami, right? you know i'm completely biased on this because you know i finally pulled something rare when it was on par with overlord you know it was a 50 50 i finally pulled something rare but it's a 50 50 chance that i even get something like shinigami which is still good but at the same time that other 50 percent i could have pulled overlord so i don't see the reason why making shinigami a point two when overlord is also a point two and it's like 
10 times better then you got something like these rates up here you know you know these are the trash traits but i'm going to be talking about how scoped 3 is for some reason a higher chance of sturdy 3 accelerate 3 which is all that basically the they're buffing the same stats and they all have like a number like two 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 i don't know why scoped is a higher chance than accelerate and sturdy i feel like this should be the same i'm on a chance this is not something too big but i feel like you know y'all should balance it out and i could definitely talk about a bunch of other traits um on you know basically yeah techniques and basically how they you know contribute to the character but i'm not gonna be going too in depth and yeah all right, that's all for today. If you think I said something wrong, make sure you uh, put it down in the comments so I can uh, read it. Uh, also, if you have more suggestions, uh, make sure you put them down below. I can uh, maybe talk about it if I do another video like this again. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day.